There is a delicious business on the west side of Nashville, and the woman running the show has been at it for nearly 50 years. She has set the standard for incredible cakes, and as Lauren Lowry reports, she's made well over 100,000 of them. Here's more in tonight's For Your Community. Inside this shop at the corner of Hillwood and Charlotte Pike sits Dessert Designs by Leland. This is Leland. How did you even get the idea to do something like this? My mom was a fantabulous cook. <laughs> And, and baker, and I used to just watch her. Her mother's notes were the base for a caramel cake that made Leland famous in Nashville. It's created in a whirl of batter, boil, and buzz of workers in her fast-paced commercial kitchen. Caramel itself is, is really tricky. We make it the old-fashioned way. We don't start with brown sugar, we brown the sugar. When we first started doing caramel, I bet I threw out every third batch. But that certainly changed. Leland's cakes are shipped all over the U.S. This whole table is filled with her cakes as gifts for Christmas, and I'm helping prepare the order. Will I get in trouble if I do it wrong? No. Tie it together you see, there's an art to tying a bow. Please don't, please don't fire me, Leland. I think you are doing terrifically well. Leland started decorating cakes in 1970. She was a young mom in her early 20s, baking cakes out of her home. Did you ever see your business going this way? No, never in a million years. And really, it was just kind of one step, and then the next step, and then the next step. Those life layers became the staple for the who's who of Nashville. It started with a wedding cake for Winona Judd in the 90s. It led to cakes for Amy Grant and Vince Gill, among others. And most recently, the wedding cake for Amy's daughter. We've done their children's and we did their cake, Amy and Vince. To truly understand the acclaim, Leland treated me to a cake tasting. This is what I do for brides. It's going to be so good. <laughs> she filled my plate with nine samples, and I tried them one by one. The caramel cake, the almond amaretto, oh, and the aptly named Hallelujah cake. Mmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> but it's good. Hey. But let's just say when it came to the chocolate oh. truffle cake. Here we go. I wasn't ready. <laughs> My taste buds were in a tailspin. I'm having a moment. <laughs> this is so good. There's a reason even Leland calls this flourless cake her weakness. Say my favorite is whatever's on my fork at the moment. But <laughs> that, that I kind of crave. How many cakes do you think you've made? I can't even begin to count. We help Leland break it down by her weekly output through the decades. Even her conservative estimates add up to more than 150,000 cakes in nearly 50 years. Are you so proud of what you've created? I, I feel blessed, lucky. It's, it's how you treat people. And then give them some butter and sugar and that helps. <laughs> Leland told me her favorite thing is hearing people's cake stories. She's been in business so long at this point that she's done special occasion cakes for generations of families. It's been a major part of her sweet success. Lauren Lowry, News 4.